Hello, what is J2012 here? And today, I'm off to show you my PS3 games collection. As of today. Now, the PS3, basically, it's a console that basically is the third console of the PlayStation series, main PlayStation series. Not exactly the third console of PlayStation. Technically, it's the, the fourth, considering the PSP was that before it. Yeah. Basically, yeah. So, yeah, basically it was a console, and it was HD as well, which was, like, really impressive for the time, because it was, like, it was released 2006, six, seven or so. Yeah, and, um, yeah. I'm surprised it's actually still selling, because, like, like, you'd think it was, like, you'd think it'd be discontinued at this point, but apparently not. Okay, I have a couple of games in here. Uh, you can see, I, I, actually, no, you can't see, but I have a big pile ne next to me. I'm going to take games out of said pile right now. Let's just go down onto the bed and we can just look, take a look. Starting off with the first one we have right next to us at the moment Little Big Planet. The first one. Yeah. This is the game that. This is the first game I really got from my PS3. Actually. Actually, no, it's not actually. It's actually the third one. And, and it's only. The, it's actually the first one I ever got with. The PS3 because this was a this was a pack-in game with my PS3. Yeah, so we got that with PS3, and it was like, I'm. I mean, we I really wanted to play this game because like, I had lots of. I remember seeing like the commercials for it back then. And I was like, oh my God, this looked so awesome! And I really wanted to like play it. Yeah, I remember this one particular one where it was like, I can't remember now. It was like there was this there was this like person called Molly in it. Apparently, I can't remember. The name. I could probably look it up on YouTube. It was probably uploaded by somebody. Don't know who. Anyway, this is a good game. Basically, you can create your own levels, and it's probably it's like, yeah, this was pretty awesome. It was like you could do whatever you want, pretty much, well, at least for the time. Anyway, yeah, you could you could just like plenty of stickers. Like you can decorate your sack boy with different with different costumes and all that. You can like make your own level. Yeah. There was also a story here, but I didn't. I didn't really care much of it. But it's because like, who really cares about the story if you all you came out is just making your own levels? Oh, I suppose there is a reason to care about the story, so you can like unlock more items to make said levels. Oh. <sighs> okay, but it's still a good game, and I suggest you get it. Little Big Planet Two. There's just no cover in it because the, the cover broke off. But take my word for it, it's Little Big Planet 2. In fact, I'll prove it to you. Little Big Planet 2. Everything's in it. And everything's intact. Anyway, yes, Little Big Planet 2. Basically, it's the sequel to Little Big Planet 1, which came out, the first one came out in 2008. This came out in 2011 or 2010, whatever. Yeah, 2010. But, like, I remember this game was, like, delayed because, like, I don't know why. It was, like, the original game was originally meant to come out in Europe in like 2010, and I was like, "Oh man, I couldn't wait. I was gonna I get it for Christmas, but the game was like delayed to like 2011, and it was like like January 2011. I was like, "Crap, I couldn't get it for Christmas." For God's sake, why not? Oh yeah, because it was delayed. But yeah, what what do I think of the game? It's freaking awesome, actually. It's like probably even better than the um, probably even better than the first, like. Actually, I think a little big plant games get even better with it, with every preceding game. Yeah, except maybe a little big plant on PSP because that one wasn't wasn't fantastic to be say. It's more like on par with um the first little big plant because it was more like that thingy. Anyway, little big plant two. It was awesome. There was like there was like more options to choose from. You can even put like sack box. Yeah, and it was like yeah, and it was like. It's more cinematic than the other one, from my remember. And it was like it's actually even better. I mean, like there's lots, there's like so much you can do. Not you can do already with them, with the first game, but yeah. So so much fun to be had. Like you have sack bots, and you can even like do lots of other cool stuff too. Yeah, it's like even bigger. And probably better too. I recommend it. And finally, Little Big Planet 3. 
yeah um was well this was i thought this was going to be a ps4 exclusive but that they but then they announced they were going to make a ps3 version because probably because there are some people here who don't have a ps4 like me but then um, there's not really not really any difference between the ps4 and ps3 versions anyway like there's like Okay, maybe the graphics, maybe, but that's that's literally it, and pretty much nobody really cares about the graphics anyway. But yeah, this game is awesome. I mean, like, basically you have more layers, and it, has, it even introduces new characters to play as too. Because like, I mean, we all like Sackboy, but yeah, but we, and instead, this is from a different developer as well. Because in the first two games were developed by Media Molecule. This game is actually developed instead by Sumo Digital, who are, who I know of for developing Sonic and Sega All Stars Races, racing. What am I saying? Which is a good game, and they may have developed a few other games too. Oh, yeah, and I think they developed Driver Seventy Six as well, which is also really good. Anyway, Bailey Plank Three, a friggin' awesome game. You get to play as more characters. Let's see, there's Sackboy. There's I can't remember the names of them. This, I know this one's Swoop, and I can't remember it, wh which one's Odd Sock and which one's the. I know, which, I know there was a character called Odd Sock. I think he mentions it in the manual. There we go. So there we go. Odd, no, this is Odd Sock, and this one's Toggle. Oh yeah, I'm forgetting the names of them. But you never forget the names of Sack Boy. Who is Newton? Uh, Isaac Newton. Let's see. Not, not, not too much is known about the mysterious Newton, but he's the chap who sent the travel to Bunkum. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's the one that introduces you to them. He's the one that introduces you throughout the game, but apparently, there's look lots of things that are really suspicious about him. Oh my god, is he flowy? Oh my god, could it be an inspiration? I doubt it though. Also, they made a, also they made a mobile phone game for um, for um, Little Big Planet for them um, iOS and Android. Neither of which are actually Sony products, but okay. At least it's good. It's like, I play a bit of it actually, and it was from when I played, it was pretty good. I don't have the game myself, should probably install it sometime, but yeah. Although, a lot of people, more people should make more levels on this game. I mean, there's a lot of levels on Little Big Planet that seems to be made on Little Big Planet 1, which is like, in this time and age, like, like, how many years has it passed right now? Like, Eight, pretty much, eight years, and then and people are still making levels on them. Um, this no, not eight. Will be seven because technically it hasn't passed them. Yeah, but Little Big Planet Three is a good game. Max Payne Trois, Max Payne Three. This is a this was bought for GameStop at nine for nine pound nine euros ninety nine cents. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't play this game, but, but I should probably start playing these game kind of games because, like, but if I'm gonna start off playing a trilogy, I should probably start off with playing the um, first part of the tri of said trilogy, like with like Max Payne One. I should probably start off with, cause yeah. But I, I should probably explain a bit though. It's developed. It's published by Rockstar, and it was like, yeah, it's pretty interesting, really. But I never really played this game. Shaparis, as I said, I should probably start with playing the first one in the friggin' trilogy. The Adventures of Tintin, The Secret of the Unicorn. This is one of the games I got received for my birthday back in 2014, and it's pretty good. The, the most com the confusing part though is that we, we started playing the multiplayer mode first, but because, I don't know, it was just conf And then we just confused, we're like, oh, this isn't part of the story of the movie. We did see the movie, and... And there's also we also we also apparently read the com he my friend apparently read the comic as well but I mean, this but this is a good game I and mean, like it's good for co-op this multiplayer mode is good and the single player is also pretty cool I haven't I should probably progress more in this game but I should probably start off sometime I mean like yeah I can just log on to my UPlay account and uh, oh crap. Focus. They should probably log on to my UPlay account to get more characters and stuff, and more actually and more items because that way, yeah, awesome stuff. Happens. Yeah, I can, they're basically um gets get to play scenes of the movie. By the way, what do you think of the movie? It's friggin' awesome and um, yeah, it has like nice actiony actiony parts and um, yeah.
Have you ever seen The Secret of Unicorn, by the way? What are you waiting for? Just start playing, start watching now. Because it's, like, freaking awesome. And this game? It's pretty good. It's good for co-op, like I said. In fact, all the games I got for my birthday back then were, like, for co-op anyway, so... Yeah. Toy Story 3. Yes. Because the best move because because it's because it was the best Pixar movie at the time, it had to receive a PS3 it had to receive a video game as well. At uh, this time, I got on PS3. I mean, it was like multi-platform, but I got the PS3 version. Why? Because you could play Zerg in this version. Yeah, in the toy box mode. I should probably explain this game. Yeah, based Toy Story 3. It's a, it's one of the greatest movies ever made. I mean, if you've never seen it, then how dare you? Just basically watch it. I mean, like, if you have the time, then just do it now. Please, I'm begging you. Anyway, there's two modes you can play in. Toy box mode, where basically it's like a sandboxy mode, where you can basically just do whatever the crap you want. Whatever the hell you want. And then there's a story mode, where basically just goes into, you just do the story mode of them. Toy Story 3. Yeah, and it's, um, well... Say the story of Toy Story. It's like this. It's like the story with a little bit of my. It's like had a lot of them added stuff into it, but that, that again, that's how you like make it so that you can expand on it. I mean, expanding the. In fact, expanding like the movie like can sometimes make the game a bit more in interesting, which is what some movie based games do. But then sometimes like they don't. Which is also nice, clever, clever design on the disc. It's like the Pixar ball. Nice ball design. Similar with this happened on a PC game with Glover on PC. This also had a sort of ball design. Anyway, Toy Story 3. The manual. On the back, more designs. On the back, on the back, you would see Lego Toy Story. Remember that? Remember this? I think Woody had like the longest um, Lego legs for any figure. That is unless they decide to make a Metaton Lego figure, in which case it has to be even longer. <laughs> Lego. Anyway, and this was my mission that I never managed to complete. Trying to get all the Toy Story collection t toys from Thinkway. I never did, I never managed to do this because I probably grew old or um, money problems. But yeah, I never managed to, I never managed, I never did manage to get all the movies. Get all the movies in high def, on, in HD, on Blu ray. Wait for the movie. Get some. Toys, buddy toys, and action links, and stuff like that. And Disneyland. One of the greatest places ever. If you've never been there, then... Uh. But yeah, this is a good game. Pretty awesome. If you, if you, if you especially get the PS3 version, because that way you can play a Zerg. Sean White Snowboarding. It's snowboarding featuring Sean White. What else? I remember playing this game a few times. It was... Pretty interesting. You get them to like do your own like sort of moves and stuff. It's pretty good. And yeah, like do your own stuff. You can do like sort of all these kind of tricks, which are pretty cool. And yeah, actually, it's been a long, long time since I played this game. It's been a long, long time since I played a lot of these games in my collection. So. Yeah.